So, yo, yo, my bros. I'm just going to do the last stage of my butyl tape deadening slash uh, insulation. This is to help with decay time and this is to help with uh, vibration, sympathetic vibration and decay time and also mass. We're trying to get more mass in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this piece that was about there. We still have to make room for the door handle cup comes in. Uh, I had this in here and that in there. So that's going to go and that's going to go. I'm going to clean that, put some more foil tape on it and then we're going to put a slab, a one and a half inch or two inch slab of rubber shock mat. This stuff. Really good stuff. I'm going to put it here in a big piece like that. And I've just got to find the right adhesive. Something really gushy. It's got a nice little rigid pole there to help it uh, stay and not fall off, hopefully. And that's that. The other thing was I found a few weak spots. They're right, but here might do another layer on here in the weak spots because this does a pretty good job. This uh, butyl stuff, and in here I found just this one clip. I left, did every other clip, just left one clip. So I take that out, less, put it back in, more. So that one needs. Um, gushing around with um, some rubber tape. One one unsecured clip. But yeah, I could do this hole. I could do this hole. But I'm just going to leave it for now because I kind of like the way that this is sealed. It breathes in here and then comes up here, and this is extra volume. So this between the door card and the in the cabin is like the extra part of this there's another hole there so i'd have to do three holes and get a smaller box there's another hole finger sized hole and yeah so that's that maybe i'll just do that one for the sake of it you see i needed my own access because i have all this weird stuff going on this is just more insulation held in place with plastic thingy jiggies so, maybe there. And the last thing, I promise I'm not going to get too boring. I'm going to rip all this off. I'm going to make a new gasket that's like twice as uh, prone and goes out twice as wide. Because here you can see it's been touching and conforming, but here you can't even see whether it made it or not. So I think with all these little... Uh, tidbits of improvements, I think we're going to get a, a good result. I'm not going to video every step, but this is the shock mat in place. Makes it nice and damp. Um, I still have this much height that I can fill with that. I've got another piece somewhere. It'll fit all this space. Boop, boop. That's the door handle cup. and the mounting so I might have to trim that and what's the best way to trim rubber shock mat you might ask see that nice little it's a router just um, even good for trimming at the end now if that don't seal it I don't think anything will Look at this baby memory foam I just left this bit on just in case there's a space for it somewhere because it's going to get it's going to get squished anyway uh, you know why not Hoo -hoo. love it